Yo, 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 yo. Woo! We are at the legendary Lake Ida in South Florida today, fully trying to catch a brand new species that I have never caught before. So, strap in, stay tuned. Let's catch some fish. So now that we are ready to catch a new species, which for me has been a long time since I have caught a new species, I have to take a few seconds at the beginning of this video to thank the sponsor of today's video, which is the Cast and Catch app. In 2020, we are all about wasting time on our phones, whether it's on Instagram or heck, you may be wasting your time watching my videos, and I appreciate that. But the Cast and Catch app is super cool. I'm gonna start a little screen record here, and I'm gonna do a little game through play. We're just gonna catch one fish real quick, but I just love it because the graphics are super easy uh, to look at. There's not really a whole lot of settings. I'm gonna go with location number eight. They got largemouth bass, smallmouth bass, northern pike, bull shark. Man, if I can catch a bull shark, that would be great. I press fish here, then, Strike King has a deal with them, which is awesome. So I can pick three of my Strike King baits. So I'm gonna pick the, uh, let's pick the Red Eye Shad. We have two minutes on the clock to catch us a bass. Zoom in on the boat here. All right, got a hold to cast. And you gotta line it up with the green right there. Ah, decent, decent enough. So you're gonna reel by going left. And of course, if I reel faster, it goes fast. And I'm just reeling until I see that bar light up. A different color. All right, no fish on that cast, unfortunate. No bites, try a different lure. Heck no, red eye shads for me. Okay, that location stinks. We're gonna choose a new one. Oh, I got, I got, I got, I got, I got to reel faster. Okay, good. You gotta keep the, uh, gotta keep the green arrow exactly where the the green tension bar is. I sped up, got him to react to it. Here we go, six feet, five feet. He's jumping, he's jumping. Gotta keep the arrow in there. What do we get? What do we get? Smallmouth bass, two pounds, 12 ounces. Not a new PB and definitely not a new species, but uh, pretty awesome. Congratulations. I caught a smallmouth, thank you. So now that I caught that uh, imaginary fish here on the app, you guys can download it below. Uh, it is a completely free app. It'll help me out a ton if you guys go download that. So please go do that. And uh, I say it's time for us to actually catch a brand new species down here in South Florida. Let's do it. I got one. Oh, I got one. No way. No way I got one. I got a fish. Is this what I think it is? Is this my first fish of uh, this species? I don't know. I'm gonna let it fight though. Oh, it is. Oh, wait, no. I don't know, man. I'm gonna net it, whatever it is. It better not be that what I think it is. Oh, well, it's fighting hard, so we'll see. Oh, no. No, is it a stinking, oh, dang it, it's a large mouth. That's not what I'm going for. <laughs> well, I'll take a free fish, but that's not the species I was looking for, man. This is not the one that I wanted. Dang it. Thanks for playing though, buddy. Go find your other species, friend. Oh, gosh. Oh. There's some big ones in here, dude. Got him, got him, yes, yes, my first one. Let's go, bring it in, bring it in. Let's go, I saw him eat it. Yes, <laughs> my first fish of a brand new species. That is awesome. You may have been able to guess earlier, ow, oh, gosh, but this is uh, the peacock bass. My first time ever catching a peacock. I'm down here in South Florida. We don't have these in Texas, and that's just a gorgeous fish right there. That is so cool. The colors on it, it really is as orange as I see on, uh, on videos. That's incredible. I love it. Let's see if we can get ourselves another one. There were some bigger ones in this corner. And I saw. Oh gosh, biggin, biggin. Oh, he's got me, here we go, yes. Ha 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 ha. Got my second one. This one's a little bit bigger. Oh, he trucked it. Let's go. Yeah. That was awesome, had to get him over the uh, little cable thing. Come on, come on, come on, yes. Good. Let's get him in the net. Gosh, they fight so hard. 
Yeah, let's go. This spot is loaded with them. And this one ain't huge, but it's definitely bigger. Oh, this is awesome. Yeah, a little bit bigger of a peacock bass. You know what? I, I could travel around and catch fish with anybody in their boats, but I just love being able to travel around on my Skeeter Yamaha and catch fish all over the country. It's so awesome. So to be able to catch peacocks like this in my own bass boat in the middle of a urban canal is just pretty insane. So I love it. All righty. Thank you, buddy. Oh, this is awesome. Let's see if we can get one more out of this little pocket. Oh gosh, oh, holy cow. That one's huge. That one's big. That one is big. That one's big. Come on, come on, eat it. That one's big. I'm just gonna keep casting this corner till I get that big one. All right. This corner's done, I think. There's one. Yes. Yes, sir. I don't know how big it is because he's running at me. I don't think it's very big. Nope, it's not. Is it even a is it even a peacock bass? No, it's not a peacock bass. I caught two new species in one day. What is this thing? Does it have teeth? I think it's got teeth. I can't tell. Yeah, it's, I, th I don't know. I'm afraid to lip this thing. It looks like it's got teeth. So I'm just going to unhook it. All right, no clue what this thing is. Somebody comment below what that is. Some kind of cichlid, I'm guessing. But uh, that was weird. All right, species two. <laughs> Oh gosh, holy cow, biggin, 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 biggin. I got a giant, I got a giant. Holy smokes, am I recording? I am, it's big, it's big. He's got me stuck in some grass right now. No, 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 I'm on 10 pound flora. This is not, this is not thick enough line for this. Holy cow, holy cow. This is big, this is big, this is big. Come on buddy, come on. Yes, 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 he's out, he's out, he's out. Oh my gosh. Oh, 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 this is a big peacock bass. Oh, this is the one I came here for. This is the one I came here for. Come on, come on, come on. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, nope, oh gosh. They fight so stinking hard. Holy cow. Yes, let's go, baby. Yes, yes. Oh, that was so cool. I watched him eating everything. Holy cow. That one's big. That one's probably pushing three and a half, which for these canals is a nice one. Yeah. That right there is a gorgeous peacock bass. I'm gonna give it away on the connect scale, just so I know, ouch. Just so I know how big my PB is. Reset. All right. Let's see if I'll even be able to weigh it. These fish are wild. Nope, nope, nope. Chill, chill, chill. 3.15 pounds. Let's go. That's a beautiful fish. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, nope. Stop it. Stop it. I forgot they're wild. That is so cool. That right there is my... Uh... Oh, this, is, this is amazing, y'all. I'm just in awe of how gorgeous these fish are. Catching them on my own. It's a blast. That's cool. That is cool. Alrighty, friend. Thank you, Mr. Three Pounder, for playing along. Oh, you are awesome. 
Now that we've caught a few, might as well sit down and tell you guys how I'm catching them. I am uh, flipping and, and skipping sometimes a uh, Strike King KVD shallow diving jerkbait up around these docks. And uh, the first two that I caught, I sight fished them. That one had no clue that fish was there. Just cast as close to a dock piling as I could. And uh, it came out and nabbed it. Had trouble getting out of the docks, had trouble getting it out of the grass. But to my knowledge, these fish are pretty smart. Uh, and so, especially with how pressured this body of water, these canals and this lake is, it, uh, it is to your advantage to use lighter lines. So I'm throwing 10 pound Seaguar Abrazex fluorocarbon uh, with my jerkbait setup, it's awesome. It's a TP1 black speed stick, 6.8 medium with the new custom light reel. So it's a pretty unique little combo. I love throwing jerkbaits on this. And uh, haven't lost one yet, which is, oh crap. Oh, I Dang it, I tipped over my drink. Ah, like I said, I haven't lost one yet. I did just take an L and lost half my drink, but that's okay. Oh, 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 I had another one. I had one swipe at it, but my line was all messed up. Let me recast. Almost every single cast, I get some kind of little backlash because of how hard it is to skip a jerk bit under a dock. Right, let's see. Oh, that's the one right there, baby. Come on, are you kidding me? I stinking caught, there we go. He's under there. This fish is under there. Man, he swiped that it and missed. Oh, there he is, oh, I had him. Dang it. I had him and now I caught somebody's rope. Dang it. Was not recording, but hooked another one. In that same exact area of the dock, I caught the last one. Not quite as big, but we'll take him. Come on, buddy. Get out of there. Get out of there. Where you at? Where you at? Oh, I got him sideswiped. <laughs> Let's get him by the back. Ugh. Here we go. Oh, gosh. Awesome. Number four for the day for me. Not quite as big, but just as awesome. All right, so that's two out of that corner. Maybe there's more. Let's try to find out if I can stop getting a backlash every time I cast in there. Oh yeah. All right, no more in that dock. Let us get a move on. I think they like a little bit of vegetation, just a little bit. This canal is devoid of it. I don't know, I feel like I would like. Maybe they need some grass, I don't know. Oh gosh, oh gosh. No, no, dang it. <laughs> Oh, that was big. Oh, that was huge. Oh, what if he's still hungry? I doubt it. Ah, oh, dang it. That was so big. Oh, man. Oh, oh my gosh. Well, that's gonna look cool on camera. I can tell you that. All right, on to the... On to the next one. I'm gonna switch it up. Same exact jerk bait, but just a brand new one. New paint job, new hooks. Hopefully not gonna lose a fish. I think I lost that fish because I, I bent my hook out. I see, I would switch these hooks that come stock to, uh, to triple grips. Cause I don't have any like nicer open bend or whatever this is called, round bend. But these fish are just slapping at it. So like triple grips would not be good because I would probably miss more fish. All right, let's get redemption on that lost one. I'm not happy about that. Oh, I got one. I got one. Yes, I do. <laughs> what is this? What is this? A tilapia. Goodness gracious. The species I'm catching today are nuts. 
Oh, dang it. See, this is what happens. When you put up a plastic thing over your dock, it makes me want to skip in there even more. And then I get stuck on it, and I have to go get it off. Just let fishermen do their thing. Come on. Bunch of idiots. Bunch of idiots, let me tell you. Yeah. That's why I put it there, because usually you hook the lines on my, uh, the boat cover. Well, I take a patch on my boat cover I I'm a good fisherman, and I don't get stuck on people's boat covers, so. Uh, Alright, have a good day. Well, after that interesting encounter, I'm going to go, uh, hopefully catch me one on this retaining wall here. Finish out the video. If not, we'll see you guys back at the, uh, at the dock. Well, what a day. Catching a new species, the peacock bass, all by myself. There's just, uh, I don't know, a joy found in that. We're gonna power pull down. Let's go get the truck. Boom. Well, folks at home, that is the video for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed me chasing a, uh, a whole new species here on the channel. I don't get a chance to do it very often because I love to make instructional content and it's it's hard to, actually impossible to make instructional content for a brand new species. But uh, hey, if you guys like the peacock bass stuff, I'll come down here and more and do that. So drop me a comment if you guys enjoyed that. I'll, again, I've always uh, have all the gear that I use linked below. And uh, today was awesome. The jerkbait bite was crazy. I wish that I could have ended the video with an even bigger PB, but a three pounder. I will take it. So uh, we're going to get the Black Pearl all ready to go for the road. This will be the last video I think y'all will see unless a podcast until the College Fishing National Championship. So super pumped. And uh, we'll see y'all next time on TRF.